Hello everybody, it's been a long time since the last video and today we're going to learn how to pick up items with the Unity character controller but first of all we have to make some settings on the scene so we used to have this background so we're going to get rid of that and as well as the inventory we have it here I'm going to just leave it there meanwhile I'm going to create a plane and here I'm going to put it back on zero 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 so we have it right there I'm going to make this a bit bigger times times five times one times five and I'm gonna add some geometry for example this cube uh, well five times five times five so the scale is uniform scale and the children will scale accordingly so I'm gonna duplicate that and put it over here and I'm going to import we must go to assets import package and we're going to import the characters okay so I already imported so you just import everything and then go to standard assets characters first person character prefabs and we're going to drag the FPS controller to the to anywhere in the screen just like this and I'm going to pull it up a bit so the capsule is on top of the plane so uh, let's try this a bit and uh, you will see that we still have the inventory in front but we can walk around this stage so yeah that's the first thing we have to do the next thing is maybe we can uh, every time we press the key I we're going to close and open the inventory so I'm gonna create a new object I'm going to call it game controller and I'm going to create a new script called um, game controller and we're going to make a function so that every time we press the I key we're going to toggle the inventory so let's open this up here in the update we are going to type if input dot get key down and get key down is just the first time we press it as soon as we press it it's going to happen once and here key code dot i So we just type that first and I have to remember to increase the size of my code, sorry guys. So you type this in and here we're going to make another function called a toggle inventory. And also we have to create a public variable of type game object and we'll, we're going to call it inventory. So let's let's go again. We create all these things. We want to copy this function and put it here. So this means every time we press the key code I, we're going to call this function. And what this function does is take the inventory dot set active. And if we type true here. It's going to turn it true, turn it on. If we type false, it's going to turn it off. So we want to turn it true if it's false and false if it's true. How we do that? We just we can just go to inventory dot active in hierarchy. And this is just a property of the inventory. So we want the opposite and for getting the opposite we need to do the exclamation mark so it's not whatever it is active or not active so we're going to set it to whatever is not currently so let's try this first remember that we also have to assign the variable here so our inventory is this object here and let's try it so whenever I press I 
There you go. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. And there's one more thing we wanted to add, and is that the cursor will be visible if the inventory is active. If it's not, then we'll make it invisible. Let's save and tr try a bit. And now it should be visible. Yeah, 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 there you go. So you see the, you can see the cursor, and now you can't. You can, you can't. But there is one problem. Uh, when we open the inventory, this is a little bit like Minecraft. When we open the inventory, the screen should stop moving, right? Should or we should start seeing the mouse, and we should be able to drag the items. But we are not able to drag the items, and that is because the function that is dragging the items, we wrote it to work with our other camera, the main camera. But now this camera here is the first person controller camera. So we have to do something about that. So it's pretty simple once you figure it out. You can see here we have the first person character camera, which the camera depth is zero. And our main camera, which is uh, minus one in a depth. And the cooling mask is everything and is clearing flax skybox. So what we want to do is, um, let me show you while we are playing it so you will realize. First of all, we want to use this camera, set this camera as the main camera. And for that, the depth must be the highest one in among the cameras. So here's the first, this one, which is zero. So this one is higher, so this one will be... So now you can see, oh, we actually can drag things. But now we're not able to see it. So for that, we need to clear only the depth. And yeah, that's it. And if we just want to actually show the UI elements, it's better that we only set UI elements here. OK, so I'm going to copy component, stop the game, and paste component values. So now when we play, we can actually drag things and close it and open it and yeah so the next thing we have to do is stop the controller so i'm just going to make a reference here game controller and uh, next to game um, next to inventory i'm going to set another variable called player so we can access this player and the components and to stop the player from looking around, we have to stop the first person controller and the character controller to stop moving around. So it's very simple. We want to create another function called disable player. And what, we, what this will do is take the player dot get, what this will do is get the component from the player player.getComponent and the component I think is called charactercontroller.enable equals we need a boolean called flag so what this flag is going to do is tell us if we have to enable or disable the component so we're just going to set it equals to flag and we also need to disable the first person controller the FPS uh, the, the FPS controller, whatever it's called. But for doing that, you see here we have the first person controller. We have the Unity standard assets. So I was reading online and it said that we need to copy this here using uh, this thing, whatever it's called. So we have to put it at the top of the code here using Unity standard assets dot characters dot first person. And now we should be able to get the component first person controller here we go and disable that as well so black and let's try that and also I want to start with my inventory disabled so when we start it's just like this and when I press I yeah and now it's still and I can move the stuff and then goodbye and then like that and then like that.
so this is how we set the inventory for a 3D game. So this is how we make an inventory for a 3D game, just like Minecraft. Um, we can open it and this will disable the, the controllers and we can use properly, uh, which actually was a problem at the beginning. Um, <clears throat> and what we have to do now is place some items around so whenever we walk over the items they will go to our inventory automatically but for that my friends we will have to wait for the next video so thank you very much goodbye